All right. And we are back once again with the final leg of the Grand Stampede tournament. Look, we have a lot of good players in our community, but I, I am so happy to see all their names up on screen right now. Let me I know we have by, adjust by, my by, audio here. Velvet. I'm just glad of Velvet's in this. Okay. <laughs> Velvet deserves this. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's let's be unbiased here for a second. Let's let's break down the character spread right now, right? So okay, we got okay. Velvet. Mm -hmm. We got two Arizonas. Yo. Well, we got... three Arizonas, actually. Java oh, Moore. Yeah. Uh, Java Moore's at the bottom. Yep. Mm -hmm. We got uh, three Oleanders and a pack. All right, before we start here, this screen shows the breakouts of the finals for the Grand Stampede in top eight. The winner's semis are on top, and the loser's eights are on the bottom, and it all leads to grand finals. Commentating the top eight are previous commentators we've seen, Oreo from the main six dev team, and It's a K9. I like listening to these two commentators, so it'll be very interesting to see what they have to say for this particular round. And I guess what we can do is go ahead and, and jump right in. I think we'll we'll give the commentators a chance to sort of intro everything, and then I think I'm going to just skip directly to the matches to condense things down, since according to the timeline here, it's about almost three hours worth of footage. We'll go ahead and get started here. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's it's not bad. I will say that much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, but a yeah, game with six characters, of... you get what? That was four? Yeah, yeah. Not, not bad. Yeah, that's a good ratio. And Hammett just barely didn't make it. So I know. had some palm representation, too. Uh, I wanted Hammett to make it, but sadly, MPK took him out. Oh, it's it's all good. MPK, I have absolutely one of our best players forever, but it looks like we are ready to get into it with 5x5, five five and I think that's Candle. Right yes, that is. Yes. I guess I'm so excited to see this match. They live very close, if I'm not mistaken, and they practice a lot before, like, the whole COVID. All right, I'm going like to skip that. ahead like, a minute or so. This is cow. It's just a cow. Brown cow. Nice. All right, first match right of top eight. 5x5 five five versus Kendall. Velvet versus yeah. Arizona. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The These are two players we've seen so far. Oh, just backing away, keeping it safe. I think 5x5 five five is only oh, Velvet in top 8. In. Gonna generate that magic right now. Oh my god. 5 getting all these 5Cs off. Nice DP. Ooh, very nice DP. Tries to tech chase, but 5 is ready. Waking up with a DP doesn't want to take any of that pressure off wake up. Yes, DP is a very good option for Velvet. It is like... Looks like 5x5 five five went for and then early aggressive the, offense, getting in Kendall's and face, to to and the chip, turn into red health, but now it looks like the strategy extreme. was to like sort of in, slow things down mix. and get more the zoning game going. Meanwhile, Kendall's trying to, to rush down, get in. Rush across Kendall to force Velvet back into the corner and gets the hit. Oh, going for another mix right there, but drops a combo and picks it right back up. Very nice showing from Kendall. Kendall's going to try to opt to save the meter here for the second round. Ooh, catches the back dash with the 5 seat. Another DP from 5, though. Oh, interesting use of the wind. I'm wind to pull. Sure this is going to be definitely level 2. Or at least level 1. I thought oh, no, Kendall had... Combo and chip out to end the round. Oh. It looked like 5x5 five five was able, able to five. start uh, to pull the momentum back. But chip damage overall was enough to kill from Kendall. He's going to go right into it. Absolutely. Round start summon. That was very iffy. I don't know if I respect that decision, but I do respect that 6 a Another drop. Is he is he going for resets or he is going for like resets with the launcher and then he's trying to win after. But right, uh, he's messing up right now. Okay. It's all good. Got another hit. Right into level two. Nice. Going instantly into level two in order to get the um, or to not give Arizona any meter. Went for a nice reset off of the restand, but doesn't quite get it, but he's still keeping that pressure on. Oh, nice stomp to beat the JC. I mean, the 5C, excuse me. None of these players want to eat mix up. They're they're using everything to bust out, and they're making all the right decisions. They really are. Five, though, not making the right decision right there. Getting hit. Oh, my God. Getting crossed up as well. This That's like some pretty it. nasty cross-ups well, from Arizona. Well, Kendall, Kendall, yes, yes. Yep. He's got the bar. Definitely going to get it. enough. Oh, yeah, that should be enough to kill. Yep. And that is the first match of winner's semis. Handle oh. taking it 1-0 right now. 
first explosive round. I yeah, that was a, that was a really fast match. It really, really did. did. There was, really I, I feel like no one player had full control of that round at any given time. I believe yes, top These eight matches are best of well. three like, again. I guess we'll know, find out here. Each other a lot. I think grand I finals, to... the final round might be best of five. Goodness. I want to see five. Like five was throwing out a lot of five Z's and they were working towards the first round, but towards like the end, they kind of got them punished a little bit and then that cost them the round. So hopefully they change that up. Maybe a little bit more 2C usage in order to, to poke. Yes, 2C, if you're gonna pick any heavy button, 2C is the button to pick for Velvet. All right, match two, five by five, Kendo. Same intro, I love that intro so much. <laughs> Good intro. All this green though. Kind of working with the green, trying to get the money. Very dangerous there. Five could have easily been punished for that icicle, but luckily, Handle wasn't fast enough. But he does get the D head bust into the corner. Yep. The right set. Oh, it goes low again. Very nice. A lot of corner pressure, pressure right from Kendo. Trying to get a lasso. Ooh, very nice 5C. For disregarding everything I just said. You know, <laughs> don't listen to me. <laughs> it's working out. It is working out. No. Nice. It goes back five by bit, five, pushing the offense. Chip. Yes. Needs to be very careful right here. Arizona does have magic, so they can magic headbuck at any given moment. Five tries to use the wind to push Candle away, but since Candle push blocked, he's not going anywhere. Yes. Now, Candle sort of has the advantage right here. Right. And the magic kit bug. I was waiting for it. Yeah, it definitely looks like Candle's use of the magic head buck is coming in clutch for uh, yeah. these corner combos. Oh, not it's not that. Oh. I'm surprised that didn't kill. The only option right there, I think, was backdash up back, but I think that still may have gotten caught. So I think Candle was just winning right there. Yeah, there's not much that Five could have done there. Yeah. I like the jump in. He noticed that Candle's using a lot of stomps. And he just said, I'm going to go right over this. Dude, the patience from those players. Just waiting for an option. Waiting for anyone to press a button. Oh, there's the 2C. Oh, nice. Going to go into level 2 right here. Cancel early to make sure Candle gets as little meter as possible. Oh, nice anti air 5B. Pretty good. Oh my God. Just slowly sliding. Pretty good pressure candle, from five by five. Guess which side. That late tech Keeping on the rollout. Candle in the, the corner, locked down at projectiles. Nice. Ooh, oh, nice DP, but no pickup. Backed away, didn't trust it. Five is working on a nice life lead right now, and Candle really needs to get in because if he dies from chip, Five is going to be building a lot of meter. Yes. Oh, getting that six B off, getting level two now. Are they going to use it? No, they're going to wait. Oh, calling out the DP right here. Now I'm pretty sure they may use it. Good block Two on bars. the jump A. Really hard to see. You sort of have to feel it out. Oh my gosh. Candle. <laughs> Are you going to use it this time? You're making me guess. Oh, wow. It's brutal. Okay, Look you at that. Definitely use it this time. Now Rebound. Oh, wow. That's going to kill. Oh. oh what? Ooh. Drops the combo? Five, Five has a chance. <gasps> Very nice DP. Oh, I would have wow. canceled straight into level one right there. Level one, level two. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. man. <laughs> and that's a trade you don't want to be taking. Oh my goodness. Candle takes it. Oh, over five. It's very nice to see a velvet, I have to say, though. That, that's my only bias. Five only dropping bias. down to lower bracket right off the start. That yes. is. I would almost that say last round was close. So I thought strong. five by five was going to be able to come back like, and take one round to tie point. it up. I don't know what's going to happen. Right? Any to lobby letting it swap out so fast. Bubble boots versus buy cap. Another cow. Another cow versus an oleander. This is going to be interesting. I have not seen buy cap fight bubble boots, or at least recently. It's been a long, long time. So I want to see. I want to see how buy cap adapts to bubble. Bubble is just like such a player. Like he plays very patiently and very calculated. So that's yeah. This would be interesting. Bike half's done pretty well in all the rounds we've seen, but Bubble Boots is just an absolute offensive monster with the cow. Yep, like you were saying, very good. <laughs> yeah. Round start backdash doesn't want to take any of that early Oleander pressure because her pokes let her start uh, uh, establishing dominance right at the start of the round. Very much so. Like right now, she has a good zone going on right here. Looks like Bicaf's gonna go for. Really for she has teleports. Looks like Bicaf is gonna go zoning, but now Bubble Boots is any away from him. right up in his face. Finally works his way in and starts his mix. 
Yep. Bubble Boost with three magic right now. Being able... Bicap has to be so cautious right now. Because Bubble's looking for very good options. Like, magic options to be uh, Bicap stuff. That was a really good magic dash. This looks like get the punish, but gets it this Ooh, time. Ooh, uh, magic dash to go yes, point blank for combos. That's interesting. In in I don't use magic dash enough. Magic dash, you can get in and punish her. Mostly because when I try and throw <laughs> magic stop. headbuck, I throw magic dash up, by accident because the motions are very similar. <laughs> not waking up. Ooh, Vicap not waking up to the next round. Bubble taking it. Taking the first round. Decisive first round for Bubble Boots. Keeping that relentless offense going yeah bubble is playing so patient right now just not doing any aggressive round starts oh that was a good duck on the fireball that was a very good duck that was a very good 6a no pickup though and no punish oh, punish on the 2-2d though by cap getting a little scared to be put in the corner again doesn't want to take all this damage uh, bubble getting three magic getting a cross up as well now that jump c Bicap cross up is so good with arizona to prevent it from getting stolen Ooh, that was a very nice 5C after the fireball in order to beat that magic option right there. Oh, I, I was about to say we're playing a little bit of neutral, but nope, D headbutt. Yeah, no that. neutral. No neutral exists with uh, <laughs> Bubble Boot. <laughs> oh, tries to read out the, the roll forward tech chase, but Bicap stays where he is. Still gets hit by Bubble Boots, and this could be death. Yeah, this is 100% death. Level 2, yep. you can do something fancy. That, that wasn't fancy enough. <laughs> it, it works, and it's safe. And it's 2 0 round for That's Bubble right. Boots. That's true. One in the set. The box right there. Take One no 0 in the set. Stay in winner's side. I mean, <laughs> stay in winners. There's a reason why I'm commentating, I guess I have to say. <laughs> Too much fancy. Too much fancy stuff. <laughs> but there is something to be said about uh, if you only do fancy stuff. Sometimes if you stop doing fancy stuff, you'll actually drop it because your not fancy stuff is less practiced. <laughs> that is very true. You got to practice all your combos, okay? The optimal and the fancy. Definitely the fancy, right. though. I do like that there's not a whole lot of downtime so far between rounds and top eight. Like, hopefully they can turn this around. If not, Round two, Bubble Boots versus Bicalf. Bubble Boots leads 1-0 in the set. Round one. Getting right in there. Now Bicap is back dashing around start two. Doesn't want to take any of that. Yeah, Bicap is getting a space right there, recognizing Bubble is back dashing on wake up. I mean, I'm not wake up round start. Excuse me. I need to wake up. <laughs> and Bicap's going for a bit more distance control to keep Arizona at a safe distance. And... Playing a much better neutral game here, trying to keep Bubble boots out, but gets counted. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no. you, you let the cow in. That that's when nice anti air with the five C. She starts going very nuts. Slow right now. Nice job by Bicap to keep from getting walked into the corner, but now he's starting to get pushed to the other side. Oh, that was an interesting so still... jump that managed to get right out of range <laughs> of the lasso. Bicap just controlling space so well, just going corner to corner, side to side. Like, just that's what Oleander wants. This is what Oleander wants. Yeah, it's Bubble definitely more of a, a zoning strategy for Bicap this time. The only reason he's been unable to get past all the zoning. Because exactly. Arizona hasn't landed there the wall. There's the, There's the lasso. Hitting three of them. Nice reading the tech chase. Oh, the cross up into the corner. That was dirty. It seemed like Bike Half was using the was distance was control to, to keep <laughs> Arizona from landing her lassos and there. getting resources to be able to do things like her magic. <laughs> magic EX moves. And now, oh, Bubble Boots is just on a tear. <laughs> nope, not going to let Bike Half out of the corner, but Bike Half uses the cross canter, tries to work his way back to mid screen and start playing neutral again. Bike Half could have punished that magic dash with like a 5C or anything. But now Ooh, they're sadly going to die yeah, for it. it. Hopefully they that recognize a, that next round. That was a good start that, for Bicap so and trying to keep only five seconds left on the clock. Keep Bubble Boots out, but Bicap it seems like one one game, wrong like, move to get a lasso in, and then that's where the pain starts. Just from Bubble doing a round start dash up. First time we've seen it in the set so far. He does not want to let Bicap get away like he did last round. Yes, but Bubble Boots now having two stocks a meter, like two meters. Now Bicap has to be super patient. Yeah, all three stocks of magic. Oh, that, that's an interesting series of strings nice. exactly with the, the mix up of lassos in order, in order to get, to get in. full full magic stock for Arizona. Don't touch the cow. <laughs> Don't oh touch the only though. Nice getting the magic back. Oh no. 
Oh, that was a very scary situation for Bicap. Bicap could have got supered on the teleport, but luckily, uh, um, Bubble went for the counter there. Bubble punishes the teleport with D-head buffs so fast, and he's gonna cash in all of his resources now and do as much damage as possible. Maybe take the re no, not quite, not quite. Oh, well, now they're gonna Ooh. take the round. Going for that reset. Oh, wow. Well. And convincingly taking that whole match, that whole set, wow. Bubble Bubble Boots goes 2-0. and oh. Making a statement I think right Bicap gets knocked down to losers. Yes, always. Bubble Boots always makes a statement.